you have the baby, somebody else, you can have somebody else pay for everything. You have the baby, and as soon as it leaves the room, it could already be adopted. And you didn't have to deal with it. You, you, you didn't take its life. You gave it to somebody else that couldn't have a baby right off the bat. to one of the more important civilizational questions. What is a human being? So a religious or Christian will say, well, a human being is made in the image of God and is a soul bearer. Pretty important, right? Whereas a secularist will say, a human being is just a random combination of a clump of cells that accidentally came into existence because of billions of years of accidental a evolution. What's the big deal if another one just dies? Not a big deal, right? It's no different than eliminating a frog or a toad or a piece of bacteria. But we as Christians believe that human beings are image bearers of the divine. And as soon as you believe that, you cannot discard them and call it reproductive health care. Right. If we are speaking to somebody out there that's listening that's contemplating that idea, just know that he's going to fail, I'm going to fail, she's going to fail. But the one that's not going to fail is Christ. And so even if it's in your secret closet, even if you don't want to speak to your parents about it, truly before you make such an impactful decision, invite the Lord in. Amen. I promise you. It, it says in the scripture, come as you are. And it's very hard to understand that. Come as you are means, regardless of where you're at in your mental, how you view God, where your positioning is, come to him and he will reveal himself to you. It is the Holy Spirit. The reason we have such a love for Christ is God's grace that we have for loving Christ. Poured his wisdom into us for us to even be able to acknowledge such a deity as that. Mm -hmm. So all it takes is an invitation. Uh, I think this episode was incredible. Thank you, guys. I know. Can, you're I, go yeah, please can I make one final plea? Yeah, please. Um, Please go vote and vote for Trump, everybody. I know him personally. He's the best. He has flaws. I have flaws. George has flaws. He'll fight for the country. He'll fight for you. He'll be able to have you guys access the American dream. I can tell you right now, the current trajectory we have is unsustainable. Vote early. Vote right now. Get your friends to do the same. Uh, I want you to be able to, to flourish in this country like your parents did. Amen. Thank you so much. All right, I love you guys so much. And if you guys are watching this show and there's a lot of things that touched your heart and you like have some questions, Throw them in the comment section. Let's be as a community. Let's let's talk to people. Let's not push them away. Let's get people to vote uh, because, remember, we're all in this together. So if we don't get together on this, then we're going to fail together. Put this. in the comments if you guys have voted and who you voted for. Um, we want to hear from you. Amen. I'll see you guys next time. I didn't even know they put up a video. That's awesome.